Hello friends, this is Nelson Darwin Park Tech channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement a full adder in Verilog. So first of all, we will come to the truth table of full adder. As full adder takes three inputs of A, B and carry in and generates two output of sum and carry out. As these are the three inputs, so we will follow the combination of three bits. It is like 0, 1, 0 1 0 1 and 0 1 double 0 double 1 double 0 and double 1 then four zeros and four ones so come to the sum 0 plus 0 plus 0 sum is 0 and carry will also be 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 1 plus 1 plus 0 sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 sum 1 and carry is also 1 so let's come to the gate diagram of full adder in here we'll be using two half adders to implement a full adder a single half adder is made like uh, first of all i'll define my inputs of a b and C in. I'll name my inputs A, B, and C in. So I'm using two half adders to implement a full adder. So here comes the first half adder. Then a second half adder. First XOR gate will be taking two inputs of A and B. In the same way, AND gate will also be taking two inputs of A and B. Then output of this XOR gate will be entering another XOR gate. And the second output, uh, so second input of this XOR gate will be CN. These two XOR gates will generate a sum. Now for generating carry, this AND gate will be taking the output of first XOR gate and also C in. Then we'll have an OR gate which will be taking the output from this AND gate and this AND gate this will generate carry out so we will name our wires this will help us implementing it in on very log so i will be naming my this wire as wire not this wire as wire 1 and this wire as wire 2 Remember, we'll be using three wires in our code to implement the full adder. So come to the coding in the same way. Go to the file, new project. Name of our project is full adder. Okay. We'll create a new file from in here. I'm using short form of FA and defining the extension of file type as very log. And close. In the same way, I'll come to my coding and write in here module FA or any name you want. It is generating output of sum and carry out and taking input of A, B and C in. I'll be defining the bits that uh,
and put is a b and c in and output is sum and c out now i have defined all the bits that which one of the bit is input and which one of the bit is output so we'll go to the diagram again and check which of the gate is taking which input and generating which output so the first xor gate this one is taking two inputs of a and b and generating output in wire not so i'll be calling xor function naming it store my output in wire not and input of a and b now come back to the diagram see this and gate is taking the input of a and b and generating the output in w1 and a1 w1 a and b now again come to the diagram see this xor gate is taking the input of w0 and c in and giving us sum so xor x2 it is generating sum taking input of w0 and c in now our second last and gate is taking input of wire not and c in and generating wire 2 it is giving us output in wire 2 taking wire not and c in now at last we have our or gate which is taking input of wire 2 and wire 1 and giving us c out c out was taking input of wire 1 and wire 2 and we will end our module here as our circuit diagram is completed we have got sum we have also got carry out now we can test our code using test bench and simulate it. I'll be using module test bench for full adder. In the same way, I'll defining input by reg command, output by wire command. I'll be calling my full adder. In my test bench so that I can simulate it and give it any name you want I'm giving it F1 now I will initialize my test bench and begin it from here I'll be giving different values to a which is which will be a one bit 0 B is equal to one bit 0 and C in is equal to one bit zero i'll copy the code from in here and paste some combinations so that we can see the output for different bits one, one, Also, not forget the delay of five units, or it can be less too, but delay is necessary so that we can see our output without shortening it or getting high impedance. Now, I'll end my test bench here and end my module too. Now, I will save my code. And compile so here you can see compile of fa.v was successful now we can simulate our code by going to simulate and start simulation 
you can go to work extend it and find your test bench you have named like i have named it test bench for full adder here it is same way we'll add wave to it run from in here convert all of them to binary by selecting them all going to radix, radix and clicking on binary now in here you can see 0 plus 0 plus 1 sum is 1 and carry is 0 let's change the bit 0 plus 0 plus 0 obviously sum will be 0 and carry will be 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 so it was enough for this tutorial for learning more stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you